Well, hello, this is Denise Lindell Miller, and we are back again this week to speak on our January theme of Rees. Rees, we reflected the first week in January. We re-envisioned the second week in January. Last week, we revised, and this week, we are going to reapportion and reappropriate. Now, we're going to speak about a lot of time that involves the reappropriation, and it, it, it does also involve the fact that we need to look at how we're spending our time in light of the things that we thought about last week. So what I'd like to do, first of all, is read you some definitions. You know me. I like to start out with the dictionary, and then we will move on from there. The first thing is reappropriation. Reappropriation has two different meanings, and the one that I'm talking about today is reclaiming or recovering something for one's own use. Now, again, we're talking about time, and then reapportioning speaks about assigning or distributing something again or in a different way. So you're going to be talking about time again. And today, we're going to be talking about those two things in terms of our personal overall health. Now, how much time do you spend on your health? We do the normal things. We take showers, we brush our teeth. Many of us do go for annual physical checkups and things of that nature. Some of you also do the gym, which is fantastic. And how much time do you take to do that in a way that you know is going to be beneficial for your body? Are you a random person who exercises? I used to be that way. And then Honestly, I had a knee replacement and I had to really start to think about moving consistently. And now I either get steps in or I have a, an exercise bike at home, but I do make that time. There were also things as you get to be a little older that you do have to keep check on. And so I will say to you, for instance, if you're over 35 or over 40, how's your thyroid doing? You need to have that checked out. How's your blood pressure doing? You need to have that checked out as well. How about your weight? I know that I've told you this before, weight has been a lifelong struggle for me, but I still battle to get it under control. So what I'd like to ask you to do today is think about how much time you're spending on your health doing healthy things, revising how you spend your time so that you're putting in 30 minutes every day for exercise. Then there's your mental health as well. Think about what you're thinking about. Are you taking downtime? Are you so stressed out that you cannot even think about taking downtime? I'd like to ask you to get in touch with me if I can help you walk through those situations. And I look forward to being of service to you. Take care, be well.